Hey folks, this is Dico here, to, and welcome to a new RimWorld series. Uh, this time we'll be playing a high-tech colony, and for the first time, focusing entirely on drug manufacturing and exports. Think less, Breaking Bad, and more Opium Wars. So anyway, here's the headcanon setup I kind of have in my mind. There we were, peacefully tooling along in space, probably smuggling something, when all of a sudden something bad happens, and the ship just explodes. We don't really know why, but I suspect it might have something to do with the planets, like 47 moons or whatever. In any case, we managed to get to our escape pod. Um, its sensors found a region that it indicates has a large amount of biological diversity, but it didn't bother to check if any of it is hostile. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's not worry about it. So, we've got three kind of headliner mods here this time. Uh, the first is Sparkling Worlds, which adds a bunch of craftable high-tech items, uh, new weapons, and a bunch of new events. Uh, next up is Alpha Biomes, which adds the biome itself that we'll be playing in. Uh, Alpha Biomes actually has eight new biomes that range from mechanical ruins to living on the back of a superorganism to the oddball mushroom-dominated forest that we'll be living in. Third up is the much-neglected Rimbees, which of course adds, well, bees and bees related products. Now these are no ordinary bees, these make not just delicious honey for mead, but also a wide variety of other interesting crafted products in the later hybrids, all the way up to making like fine meals, components, and even Lucy. We've also got a number of fun animal mods. Alpha Animals has become a staple because I love it, and we're also going to add Magical Menagerie, which includes some rare mythological creatures. Megafauna gives us a bunch of big stuff, and Animal Collab Project will give us a bunch of diversity in the more common animals. Animal Variety Coats does just what it says on the tin, and it will come as no surprise to any of you that Let's Have a Cat has made yet another comeback. We'll be sticking with the rather standard set of faction mods, with Let's Trade adding some trade variety, more faction interaction giving us a wider array of faction events, and hospitality. I never really use many of the features in hospitality, but I like having visitors kind of wandering around. Um, it just makes the world feel more alive, which is nice. I'm also tweaking the world setup slightly with faction control. I'm adding a few more factions and then having them grouped together a little more logically. The usual quality of life mods return, notably color-coded mood bars and rim HUD. I did like how deep storage worked last time, so we're going to be using that again. Um, since I don't use the Steam versions of RimWorld for the series, Fluffy's Mod Manager can really make your life a lot easier, and in the mod list linked in the description below, I've got both the Steam list and the list from Mod Manager. Then, of course, I've got my giant pile of other mods. Read carefully, there will be a test. So given the goal of this colony, I am adding some restrictions to our play. The biggest one is going to be forbidding the selling of almost anything that's not at least a recreational drugs. No sculptures for cash or anything like that. I'm also going to do my no hydroponics thing for the extra challenge, and maybe some others if I think of them. I don't know, we'll see. But enough of that, let's go ahead and let's get started. New colonies, scenario doesn't matter. Um, Cassandra, Merciless, I don't trust it not to crash. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and let's get our planet generated. All right, so you can see that there's extra factions and they're kind of loosely clustered. I didn't want to really get overboard with that, but I, I don't know, this makes a little more sense to me. So we're looking for Mycotic Jungle, which is this nice purple color. And there are some of the other weird ones too. There's like Ocular Forests, um, Feralus Confested Jungles, stuff like that. So they're pretty cool. But let's park right in the middle here. We could go actually on a river right near a highway yeah i like that plan let's do that all right and we'll do a slightly larger size let's see here i've already got a set set up here so let's go ahead and let's grab mushroom madness i do like to set people up so they're not totally worthless at the beginning make sure that no one's missing any limbs or is a pyromaniac or anything um, I don't think there's any relationships. I tweaked the equipment a little bit. I took out some of the extra clothing and added a duster and made sure that we're going to start with a female honey badger. I assume that these are common pets on the inner worlds and frankly the badger does not care what you think. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, let's see what we've got besides extremely purple. Ooh, wow, this is cool. I like this a lot. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, so, are there any steam vents in this biome? It doesn't look like it. Okay, that, that should be interesting. All right, so, um, we're going to have some trouble because I do need to make sure that we've got some firm soil around so that I can build heavy things on it. I think that all of these can be grown on except for the marsh, or can be planted on. We've got all kinds of, like, Mushrooms. So we've got the agrolux. We've seen those before. Yep. They're beautiful. Well, they're not, you know, beautiful, beautiful. Um, 
What's this wacky thing? That's another giant agrilux. Here we go, a dribbling cap. Mm, constantly dribbling a pungent resin-like substance. This is a potent neurotoxin. That's kind of cool. I don't know. We've just got all kinds of things around here. This is going to be great. This is going to be fantastic. You're going to love it. I love it. I'm excited about this. I only poked this for a few minutes. So where should we start? Um, no one place seems any better than any others. We can just start right here in the middle, I suppose. Maybe we should actually start over here kind of by the river. And then I can go ahead and use um, some uh, water wheels. That might be okay. Oh, there is a steam vent right here. So actually, yeah, let's start right over here. That's not a great place, especially when there's no buildings nearby, but I think it'll be okay. So let's do that. So let's go ahead and let's set up. How do I want to set this up? First of all, let's get our work priorities set up. Everyone firefights. Everyone patients. Kitch will be our doctor. Bed rest. Hall plus. Basic. Wardening is a ways in the future. Yep, you're going to handle. Entertain. You're going to be our cook with a 7 out of 10. None of you are great hunters. Probably not you. Probably, probably you. Definitely construct and grow. And mine, kind of. Hmm. Hmm. This is kind of an odd setup, isn't it? <laughs> Obviously, I didn't look through this very carefully. Um, you can do some crafting. As opposed to mining. I guess I'd rather have you stay in the base. Well, anyway, we'll just we'll just start with that. So anyway, so um, Virgil, for example. Ooh, that's loud. Virgil needs let's unforbid everything. Virgil needs the actual rifle. And what do my other people have? Let's see here. Are any of you good at shooting? Six. That's pretty good. And three. So that means that you get the pistol wherever the pistol is hiding in here. Um, I don't immediately see it, but I'm sure it'll show up. Alright, so let's have you guys... What should we do first? I mean, we can camp out the first night over here. I just don't want to. It's kind of, you know, tradition that we maybe sleep out under the stars the first time. So let's actually go ahead. Let's see. What can we chop down over here? Nothing. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I mean, I knew that, but even so. Ooh, this is going to be exciting. Alright. Um... But I don't want to be over here. I want to be by the river. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just start. Let's deconstruct this. And let's take out the floors. Which you should always do, by the way, if you don't do that. Because it's a lot of free material. And then we'll haul everything over here. We'll just put our stockpile zone, like, here-ish. Whatever. It's all going to be outdoors for a bit, so it's no big deal. And then once we've got that taken apart, then we'll go ahead and we'll start storing things. So you guys go ahead and do that. Whatever it is you're going to do. Ah, and our honey badger. What's your name? Let me check here. Well, I probably shouldn't buck tradition. And we'll get you trained soon. I'm not going to have you trained right away, but soon. Oh, some other interesting things. So these gigantic agrilux, agrilux primes, these produce these spores. These kill the hell out of anything that walks into them. Um, major toxicity, all kinds of nasty things like that. So ooh, this runs really badly on here. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see. We'll see how it goes. Looks like I'm going to have to pause if I want to scan around much. Okay. That's fine. So, come bring everything over here. You know, work faster. I'd like it if you'd find that pistol and the knife. I don't know where those are. But I assume someone will get to that. Oh no, you ate without table. Uh, we're doomed. And it's raining. This is not going to go well. Okay, good. We're finally getting some stuff. Um, we've got some lumber, so I can go ahead and, and I can make a little wood structure for us for the first night. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't even matter where. Let's just put it right here. And I guess it should probably encompass our storage area as well. There, just to make it extra awful. Then go ahead and cancel that, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put a wooden door on there. As such, I forgot to turn off automatic home zone. I like doing this manually. Alright. Yeah, I clipped the corners, but okay, I'll take them down. There we go, alright. So, beautiful. 
You know, after last time when our base was, like, glorious and square and everything, I'm thinking this time that maybe I'll just make the most awful possible base. I'll have everything just glom on in all these terrible directions. I might do that. Wow, performance is really bad in this. Okay. But I don't know if it's me. Hmm. We'll have to see. Anyway, please rift this area in. Construction botched. Yeah, great. Fine, whatever. The important part is you guys now have some place to sleep. And then the very next thing that you're going to need to do, and I need to stop using wood for everything. Like, for nothing. I shouldn't have made that door out of wood, for example. Let's go ahead and let's put in some furniture. Um, where's that one-by-one one table? There we go. That's all the size we need. So we'll put a steel table in there, and then we'll just put, I don't know, um, some steel stools around it, because they're cheap. There, someone will get to that, and then you'll have a place to sit, and now you have a place indoors to sleep. Until I have time to make you some kind of stone bed. And most importantly, this will keep the animals out. Which is a critical thing. Because I don't need wildlife coming by and eating my poor meals. Hmm. I'm going to have to address the performance. I'll chat with the mod author, who is, by the way, a regular viewer. Hello. I love this mod. I love off animals. This is great. None of this is criticism. I'm just not really sure why it's doing that. So you're relaxing socially a little bit. All right, that's nice. Oh, and I should probably put an animal bed in here too. Because although our hunter badger does not care about lots of things, I do want to make sure that Waffle's got a place to sleep. And do I need to set up any work restrictions? A little. I want you guys up at seven. But you can stay up a little later. How about that? I want some mandatory recreation time, and I want some mandatory work time. Yeah, especially early on. So go ahead and do that. And I'll set up some restrictions a little later for where you can go and where you can't go and stuff like that. But for right now, this is good enough. And we're going to have to set up a stone cutting table. Basically immediately. I mean, there's stuff over here that still needs to be taken apart. We can get the rest of these floors out that were underneath the walls, and that's fine. And we can go ahead and we can deconstruct this. And that'll get us some stone and stuff, but that's not a whole lot. Let's keep an eye on our stone. We've got 94... Is that what this is? Is sandstone? Yes. So, we could make them sandstone beds. They'll love that. Here, I'm going to make you a rock. Now, Rimkia has some interesting stuff in it. However... I don't believe it has any rock-based beds. Yeah, see, these are made of cloth, so that doesn't help me. So we'll just make a regular bed, and we'll just make it out of sandstone. I'm just going to queue them up here. Oh, I don't have Quality Builder installed. Okay, I'll fix that. Quality Builder is a fairly important one, so we'll make sure that gets taken care of. All right, so what are you, what are you off to? What are you doing over here? You're still hauling the steel. Okay. So I should set up a zone as normal, quote-unquote, that excludes the Agrilux Primes. Um, I'm not going to at the moment, but... Oh, look at these over here. Oh, that's going to make raids from that direction really funny. <laughs> funny funny to me, not to them. Oh, what are you? A Mycoid Colossus. Um, a variant of the Overrun Colossus, right? Seems to be reptilian in nature with cold blood, a slow metabolism, and a very weird body plan. It has six legs, two intertwined spines, and six eyes. It has a symbiotic relationship with fungi with several mutant agrolex mushrooms growing on its back. These fungi trap insects and seem to provide sustenance in a symbiotic relationship with the Colossus. Weirdly enough, this Colossus reproduces by sporulation. Interesting. Instead of being a viviparous uh, creature, so its children are completely wild and independent from it, with no concept of parenthood. Neat! Oh, we're gonna have to try training one of you guys, or taming one of you guys soon. What else do we have? Anything else weird? A boulder mite, a tigress, cassowary, rats, chinchillas, yeah, stuff like that. That's no big deal. Okay. Cool, cool. So you've got two beds made. Looks like you're taking the rest of that stuff apart. And I will add... Let's see here. We're going to need to start research, and we're going to need to start stone cutting. Oh, who else needs... Who did I decide needed the gun? Was it Kitch? 
Mm, no. You. Where's the pistol? Equip it. And Kitch doesn't have a weapon at all, so come equip this. Simple Saturns is really nice because it lets you switch back and forth between melee weapons um, so they don't drop their gun on the ground and start punching baddies when they get up close. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to use as sidearms at the moment, so we're kind of stuck with what we have. Let's go ahead and let's delete a couple of these. And hopefully someone will get around to making this last bed. It's even got enough, uh, we've got enough material for it. Two colonists idle, really? Already? You have nothing left to haul or clean? Okay then. Well, good news. Go ahead and start doing some stone cutting. Um, how do we want to set this up? Make this out of steel, of course. We can put it... I want to chop down this mushroom. This mushroom's in the way. <laughs> um, I'm planning on expanding this direction. So let's put it here. And then let's go ahead and let's make sure that there is some roofing over it, because otherwise they'll get unhappy. Because it's going to be constantly in the rain. And then we'll have a dumping stockpile area here, right near it, which is going to be for both chunks. Stone chunks. Yep. And for, um, let's see here. Good old search bar. Stone blocks. And let's set that to preferred. Okay. So, someone go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, I think my constructor is the one who's running around hauling things. Yeah, my constructor is Virgil, who is currently sleeping. Virgil, dude. Make the bed, okay? Clannist idle. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Hold on. We'll get to you. I promise that I will keep you busy. I swear to it. Alright, Hawk, good news. You have to go sleep in a bed. And does this have enough stuff at it? It does. Okay, well, Kitch, what are you good at that you're so bored? Oh, that's right, you're kind of my miscellaneous colonist that doesn't have anything good. Oh, you should actually be the hunter and not Virgil. In fact, I'm not really sure why I gave that to Virgil. Here, let's fix this. Yeah, I don't really have anything for you to do at the moment. Yeah, you can haul and clean, but I don't have much for you to haul or clean, unfortunately. I mean, I guess we can get some hunting going. I mean, we've got some cassowaries and stuff right here. We could go ahead and get that started. Here, go kill a cassowary. Actually, don't kill a cassowary, because I don't have anything set up for it yet. Alright, so, make any stone blocks. Let's get this set up. Um, we're going to do this forever. Dropping on the ground is fine, and we're going to set the ingredient radius down to something a little more sane. So that it encompasses more or less this area. And will you craft? Can I get you to craft? Yeah, you'll craft. Yeah, that'll keep you busy. Alright, and let's get some growing zones going. Before we all starve to death. Um, we can just start with the ever classic potatoes. And we can also... Let's see here. I don't think that at the moment you can grow... Let's see here. Heal root. I don't think you can do that yet. Nope. But when you get to that, that'll be nice. I'll just leave it there, and that way I'll know when you hit it, because all of a sudden that will start getting populated. And we'll grow some cotton, because we'll need cotton for all kinds of things. And I could get going. I can grow glow stool. Oh, that's cool. Cotton. And I could grow... Um... See, there's no point in growing these two yet. Although I suppose I could start stocking them up. Hmm... Nah. We'll have to get our research going first. And we're going to need to get some power up first, too. Let's see here. Do we need to research? Yeah, looks like we need to research anything interesting. Okay. So, research-wise... So, here's all our Glitter World technologies. Um, we can make some nuclear power. We can make our own Glitter World medicine. We can make... Ooh, orbital launchers. Satellites into orbit to rain down doom on my enemies. <gasps> I love it. Better weapons, AI programming, brain implants. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Um, we've got some work to do in bees. Rimkia is just kind of, I don't know, I thought it was funny. Doors is just there randomly. So I may not actually end up using vanilla turrets. It's just one that I stuck in there kind of 
I don't know, so I remember a turret game. Um, we may want to find something that's a little more pew pew with lasers and stuff, so that might be a good idea. So let's go ahead, we need to get a research bench up, and we should start with... Uh, I think we're gonna have to go straight for guns. It's boring, I know. Yeah. But it is what it is. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's get our um, research bench in here. Can I make that out of sandstone as well? I can. We'll put it right there. Someone will get to it. Yep, and that's basically the end of Virgil doing anything else. <laughs> and that's okay. Need defenses, need a meal source. I know, we've got 42 meals though, we're fine. It's all good. Nobody ever died of starvation with only 42 meals. <laughs> mm. Anyway. And are you just hauling stuff over here? Oh no, you're taking that flooring out. That's right. That's okay. Let's make sure you haul it on your way back. Yeah, you will. Good. Very good. And I don't mind you taking down some of these trees. That's okay. Dude, if you build this research bench... Oh, you're already working on it. Sorry. I was going to say, if you build it, then we can start with some research. And that would be nice. I'm not going to lie. And we can build some wind power over the screwing area. And that will help keep it under control, actually. And wind power is fine for now. What do we have to research to get to hydropower? Watermill generator, which is off to the side. Um... Maybe. We'll see. The problem with making everything out of stone is it's going to take absolutely forever to get anything made. Well, let's plonk it in anyway. Yeah, Waffle, you just go ahead and eat all that stuff. I guess I don't care. I'm sure it's delicious. And we'll need to put some other things in here while we're at it. Um, let's go ahead and let's bring in a battery. Wait, we don't even have access to batteries? Obviously, it's been a while since I started one of these. <sighs> okay, let's start with batteries. And we'll make you a nice steel chair to sit on. Visitors, um, I'm just going to keep you as being continuously sent away, because otherwise I will forget about that. Kitch is already in a sad wander. That didn't take long. Well, that was quick. Hawk. There's nothing for you to haul, huh? Or clean. Well, we could start our bees right away. Our bees are going to be a problem with respect to wood. Do I have any wood that I can chop at all? No, I'm either going to have to try to grow my own, which is a disaster, or just buy it. Oh, that's... That's going to be interesting. No, nope, there really is nothing. Okay. I thought if you cut some of these down, that some of these gave wood. Let's try cutting a few down. This one's in the way. It's bothering me. And let's see if that yields any wood. Yeah, disconnect the generator. Need batteries. Need power. I know. So that doesn't give anything, huh? Or what did it give us? Is that regular wood? What is this? Mushroom stalks. They've been hardened by age until they're almost as firm as low-quality wood. Very flammable, not very resistant. Okay, um, can I make bee things out of it? Can I make beehives out of it? I can. Okay, so let's chop down a whole bunch of mushrooms then. I mean, we don't really want a lot of them over here anyway. Will harvest work? Yeah, harvest will work. And then let's make sure Virgil's going to stay busy on that. Yep. Not real pleased about this, like, Tigress hanging out right here, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, no defenses, no meal sources. We already have a colonist wandering around stupid. It didn't take long, I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty quick. Hmm, these are not yielding a ton of wood. Oh, you're not wood at all, you're fungus. Crap. So it's the Agrilux I need, yeah to get wood. Okay. That's fine. Now I know that.
I mean, it doesn't really help me knowing that, but it's a start, right? Right. I really wish my researcher would stop wandering around. I really need your help, Kitch. And unlike last time, I don't have any spells to, like, make you snap out of it. There are mods where you can go and you can slap people to, like, get them out of mood breaks. And that's really, really funny, but I don't have it installed. Because I do feel like mood breaks are pretty entertaining. The only thing that I added was, um, there's one called something like, Ugh, you got me, where they will stop fighting as soon as someone gets seriously injured rather than beating on each other until one of them falls down. And I think that's kind of nice. I think that's a good idea. Here, we don't need this inside. Ah, so we need a f we need a name. So I rather like the randomized name of what I'm going to pronounce as the Stellar Self-Governing Confederation, and this place is going to be called Misery. Because it is. Because, of course it is. Come on, hurry up. Time's a wasting, people. Thank you for putting up the uh, roof, at least. Now that's something I'm going to have to pay attention to, is I'm going to need to use a lot of roofing, because it's going to be constantly raining. And I don't really want people freaking out. That would be unfortunate. Hey, welcome back. Nice to have you here. Alright, let's get some work done. Batteries first. And then... Then I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and let's get the rest of that wood hauled in. Because it's pretty crappy. The mushroom stalks. And then we're going to want to get our bees going right away. Because bees are going to take kind of a while. So, let's see here. Do I have enough mushroom stalks? I have 129. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and let's get some bees going. We can make this out of mushroom stalks. We'll go ahead and we'll put that right here. For absolutely no particular reason. And then we need to find a beehive. Here's a beehive. Um, so, we want to harvest that beehive. We're actually going to want two of these. Well, no. We'll, we'll start with one. Okay, so we've got one of the red beehives, and then where's the yellow ones? Because um, we need both kinds. Let's see here. Ah, there's one way over here. That's good enough. Alright, so go ahead and get those. Because we need um, our two kinds of bees if we want to get both started. So go ahead and go fetch those, please. Okay, and you have now brought in a beehive. Excellent. So now we need to build a beekeeping bench. And I need more mushroom stalks if I'm going to do that. And that can be outside for right now as well. Not enough stored. Yeah, I know. I need more agrilux. We'll cut them down. These aren't as big, but we'll cut them down. I mean, it is good that you can get some wood because, boy, starting in, like, desert biomes and stuff is really, really bad. A mad raccoon. Okay. Where are you? And who are you attacking? You're attacking Kitch. Where are you at, Kitch? You are up here being bored. Well, good news. You're gonna come kill a raccoon. Probably with Hawk's help. Both of you come over here and let's take care of this raccoon. I was gonna say, you better not attack Waffle or else very, very bad things will happen to you. Okay, or you can attack our door. Well, our colonists completely fail to hit you. Come on. There we go. Well, at least you got one hit in. Run away! Not the raccoon. Won't somebody stop it? There we go. Thanks, guys. I'm just going to leave it out there for something to eat. Because, um... I don't have any refrigerated storage yet. Because I don't have any batteries. So there's no point in even bothering. So, feel free to cut down the mushrooms, guys. You know, even without batteries, I suppose there's no reason not to run some lights in. Uh, what do we have in terms of lights to begin with? We've got standing lamps, we've got... Oh yeah, different kinds of wall lights. This is not... one in particular that I've used before. Um, We can put that right there, I suppose. No, wait, let's not do that. Let's cancel that. And let's cancel this. We can go ahead and we can put it here. Like I said, this is a new one to me. I've used different wall lights in the past. Is that green right there? Oh, I see. It drags like that. Okay. Um, 
let's put it over here and let's run some power over to it. And then everything will stop complaining. We'll just take our power conduits, conduits and we'll run them directly underneath our wooden walls. Because that, my friends, is a recipe for success. And yeah, I need to separate out these batteries before everyone starts to freak out. And it doesn't look like anyone's gotten that other um, beehive yet, which is a little annoying. I may just force Kish to come get it. That was way over here somewhere, wasn't it? Um, I don't even know. I lost it. Oh, they must be in here. Yep, there they are. Okay. So, we just need things to get made. And our only constructor is currently hanging out and not doing anything. Why are you guys not constructing? Virgil, are you constructing things yet? You're kind of just hanging out. You're relaxing socially. I need you to come build these things. Like the beekeeping bench. And then I can put beekeeping up on everybody else. There we go. Ta-da! Now we've got lights. Alright, so beekeeping. What we need to do is we need to extract from mild and from temperate hives. We'll go ahead and do that. And I think that I actually want... I'm going to have Hawk working on that. No, wait. I'm going to have um, Kitch working on that as our number one priority. So let's go ahead and let's get those taken care of. Yep, there we go. One done. So we have a mild queen. And a temperate drone. Perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's put them both in here. We'll put in the temperate queen and we'll put in the mild drone. And then we will start them hybridizing soon. But at the very least, we can get them going. We actually don't know how to hybridize them yet, but that will make some interesting combinations. So, this will get them going. Okay, but at this point, let's go ahead and let's take a break. I'm going to see if I can get these performance problems figured out. But a couple things here as we're ending. First off, if you enjoy RimWorld, you should go and buy the game. It's important to support the developers of the games that we love so that they can continue to make them. You should also seriously consider picking up the soundtrack. It's amazing, and composers do not get the love that they deserve. Also, um, I guess it's some kind of stupid tradition I started. Um, I'm going to give away a free copy of the game, so just leave a comment here. It doesn't really matter what, just leave something, and then I will random something off at the very beginning of episode 3. So, that should be fun. But, in any case, thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, or leave a like, or check out the Patreon if that's the kind of thing you're interested in. And I hope to see you again next time.